Ladies and gents, it's Flack. Uh, here we have a computer. Uh, just bought this off of someone. Uh, I do apologize that, but these videos are going to be taken with a camera in front of the screen because what I plan on doing uh, later into the testing of this, or torturing if you want to call it that, is uh, I can't run screen capture software it'll just it'll just crash and most likely just uh corrupt so we're gonna have to use an external recording such as a camera but i just figured we would start off with just a simple cpu burner there we go just figured i'd give all the information on this computer we will be uh definitely abusing this pc um, and if it survives, I guess I'll give it to someone, or I don't know what I'll do with it. Uh, that's a good question. So yes, it is a E5500 LGA775. It's Intel. It's nothing to write home about. I'm willing to bet that this thing won't be able to even run a, a simple game. Uh, actually, it might be able to run Doom, the original Doom, but I don't foresee this thing being able to handle anything serious. In fact, I tried running the GPU stress test from Firmark, and it uh, just throws up an error. GPU stress test. Firmark requires an OpenGL 2.0 compliant graphics controller. Startup failed. Blah, blah, blah. So, yes. Well, first things first, uh, let's get our baseline temperatures. So we are running at stock. We are running at around 32C on both cores. Core max is 32. And at one point I did bring, uh, not this run, I did bring it up to 50 something. But uh, I was able to actually pull this fan off or disconnect the fan and run it without the fan um no load on it though if i did put any load on it it probably would burn up in an instant in fact let's do that right now let's do a cpu burning test my one thing that i do want to do with this is try out different types of thermal paste or thermal compound whatever you want to call it uh but not like the usual like arctic silver or cryonaut or anything like that i want to try weird things things that no one else has tried on youtube or anywhere for that matter because uh i tend to think outside the box and we will find out what happens so activate cpu burner again i apologize that we need to do this on the uh phone uh, because I just, I can't stand it when someone's filming a TV screen, but it's the only way that we can do this. Okay, so we immediately jumped to 46C. And sounds like it's kicking up a little bit. I'm going to let this run for five minutes. It's 9.49. Well, that says 9.58, but it is 9.49 p.m. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. Uh, max temperature was 58 by the looks of it. Let me see real quick. Uh, actually, it was 59. Uh, so let's just say high 50s, 50, 58 degrees Celsius. What happens if we do this? Let's watch those temps. 59C. 57. I'm just going to... There we go. 61. 60. Well, 
Once I hit 65, I'll come back on this. Okay, it was there it goes, 66 degrees Celsius. It's jumping around a bit. I wonder if that the power supply has a fan in it, so I'm wondering if it's uh, allowing some airflow. 68, 66. Clocks are still at 2800 megahertz. Voltages are fine. 70, we have finally hit 70. Um, I'm not sure if the previous owner reapplied thermal paste or anything. Um, I guess we'll find out when I rip off the heat sink and we take a look at it and see if it looks like it's aftermarket or not. But we'll, uh, yes. I want to try to minimize variables here. And here, yeah, the heat sink is definitely getting warm. We are at 80 degrees C, 82. Both fans are unplugged. I, uh, this actually has a system fan right here. I unplugged that as well, even though it really wasn't doing anything. It just circulates fresh air in the case when the panel is on. We are now at 85. We are now, well, we were in the red zone. 91C. It appears that core, the cord hashtag zero distance uh, temperature. TJ Maxx. I think that's the um. That's when it goes in the thermal shutdown and protects the computer. This heatsink is now becoming quite hot. That feels like a fresh brewed cup of coffee. 94C, 93, 98, 99. It's going to be funny if it knocks down the power to my house. I'm impressed so far. It's literally able to boil water and it's still running. I'm just gonna feel that heat sink real quick. Yeah, that's uncomfortable to touch. Come on, just hit a hundred C, please. Wow. Hmm. I changed that to four. I'm pretty sure that does absolutely nothing, though. Um, to be honest, I don't know much about a CPU burner, except that it burns the CPU. I'm going to stop this. Fan is not running. It is unplugged, and I want to see how quickly it drops. Still sticking at 80C. Does it need to refresh? No. Heat sink is still very hot. Now I wonder what happens if we plug the fan in. We just saw how how it dropped quite quickly. <laughs> that is not happy. <laughs>